What can you do with FreeBSD anywhere? I often describe how easy it is to install FreeBSD. In this video, I will show you what you can do with FreeBSD. I won't be covering any server uses, as that is a video in itself, but rather desktop oriented uses, from office work, education and home management to entertainment and finance. You will find software for FreeBSD that will fulfill your needs on a day-to-day -day basis. This is not a comprehensive list of common tasks, it's based upon the things which I personally do on FreeBSD every day, and even then some things may be missing. As an added note, this turned out to be a long and fairly involved video, and so I decided to chop it in half. This half will deal with internet applications and basic office applications, and the next half is where we have fun and create and edit photos, videos and audio. Enjoy. The benefits of switching to FreeBSD, even for such a common and simple task as web browsing, are significant. First, if you are on Windows, you get away from the never-ending stream of Windows-specific security vulnerabilities and attacks, and the corresponding never-ending stream of Windows patches and security updates it takes to fix them. Linux is no safe harbour, if you are wondering. For example, System D is a gift that keeps on giving, with major vulnerabilities popping up almost every month or so. That monstrous creeping piece of code is something that will never be allowed in FreeBSD, and thank goodness for that. So what can FreeBSD offer in terms of usability for the internet, the online world, which is a thing we are now so dependent on? Well, in terms of browsers, as you can see, we have browsers such as Firefox, Chromium, which is not shown on this example, and including smaller ones such as Dillo, eLinks, and Doobal, etc. You can do your online shopping, compare prices at your leisure, or maybe you want to pay your bills, or do your accounts, maybe chat online with your friends, colleagues, and family. You can, all available through a modern and safe browser on FreeBSD. Just as a side note, over the lockdowns in the UK, in 2020-2021, I used GhostBSD extensively on the children's PCs when it came to homeschooling, accessing Zoom or Microsoft Meetings, or whatever it's called, with no issues at all. So FreeBSD is more than able to allow you to conduct an online lifestyle. If browser-based activities aren't your thing, and you require a more traditional way of accessing your email, IRC or chat, etc., Again, FreeBSD has you covered. I prefer a separate email client than a browser-based session, and I'm old-fashioned that way, and so my email client of choice is Sylphid. But if that wasn't used, Thunderbird, Mutt, Joyita, or perhaps Evolution could be used. If email is too slow, then perhaps IRC is more your taste. There are simply too many clients to list here, but as you may be able to see, I have loaded up just some of them. Hexchat is perhaps the one I would use more if indeed I used IRC more, and I really should. One question I do get asked quite often is, does FreeBSD support Slack, Telegram, etc.? And yes, FreeBSD does have them. There are three main Slack clients, uh, all unofficial, unfortunately. There's Diligent, ScudCloud, and TeamWord. An unofficial client would be nice, but you can't have everything, I suppose. But it's better news for Telegram users, as there is actually an official desktop Telegram app for FreeBSD. So, that's nice. After all the browsing and messaging, etc., a little relaxation is in order. And I like to listen to some music while I am writing scripts, or just lounging in the office. And what better than a simple music player? Again, FreeBSD doesn't disappoint. You can choose heavy. You can choose heavy players, such as KDE's Amarok, or lightweight ones, such as Music on Console or Mock. Each have their strengths and weaknesses, so it's up to the individual to decide which fits their needs the best. Here you can see the G Music player in action. It runs smooth and well, and plays the tunes on online radio as well. It runs smooth, and it runs well. And it plays the tunes you want on online radio too. Noise, as the kids probably don't say anymore. I'll be covering audio more in the second part of this video, but in the meantime, back to work. Here you can see that I am in the middle of the script for this video, whilst at the same time listening to some uh, banging tunes from the Stranglers and Erasure. I do like some 80s music. This is one thing I like about FreeBSD, and that it doesn't choke when you are doing several tasks. Even transcoding or compiling some software from parts at the same time doesn't affect things, and it's a truly great OS. FreeBSD isn't short of office-related or home office small business applications. You will, of course, have heard of LibreOffice, 
the excellent Office Suite, available for all the major platforms, but there are others as well. Some more known than others. The word processor I prefer to use is Abbey Word, and the spreadsheet I also prefer is Numeric, because it's something I've used for years. As you can see, there are quite a few options to choose from, and the great thing is, is that they can be compatible with what you currently use. Unless, of course, the document sheet, formats, etc. have changed during the making of this video. Uh, one thing to mention is that I can't show all of the available word processors or spreadsheet applications. There's not enough room on the desktop. I've just noticed that in the ports there is WPS Office, so I'll leave that for another video. It's now easily installable, so there's no need for other workarounds that I might have shown in previous videos. So, once the editing and the spreadsheeting has been done, then you will need to perhaps place the results in a portable, say, document format, a PDF. And again, FreeBSD has the tools you need. Just taking a look at the list of PDF related items in the package port search engine on the FreeBSD website shows too many to cover. But suffice to say that LibreOffice will probably do what you need with little fuss if you are creating a PDF. Also, it's worth mentioning that LibreOffice includes a database and a graphic application as standard. So unlike some other office suites you may encounter, you get everything you need without spending a penny upgrading to the premium version to get the features you require. If finance is something you do on your computer, and we will at some point, probably, then FreeBSD can help you here as well. Again, you can see there is a good selection to choose from, all QuickBook compatible, and able to load in the .qif files, as I have here. Uh, it's an example file, so I'm not showing anything private, just in case you were looking. 